over there? Some kind of castle? <laughs> yeah, one that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. You said there were five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not a little white animal. His name's Hoodle, and he's a baby owl. Huh. And he's the only friend I have. Ah, guess I misread the landing. What's got you so worked up, Hoodle? Is that? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Shion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? Knock a flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. I'll see what I can do. Rising Wyvern! Flyers! These are all you, Sion! What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! <laughs> you just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. thought. I take it we're heading through here then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? 
It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No. She was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed. And then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... Uh... <sighs> Let's go. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. Imagine there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. It's freezing in here. And after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renan surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renans. They've got Danans spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, 
Not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <clears throat> That's why the world needs people like us. Sure, I can put this to use. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. Do it! 
That was almost too easy. Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the Lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zoogles here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that, and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now, come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but is everything going to be okay with these people? I've noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. <laughs> <laughs> 